Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is J unit? Let me answer. So what is J unit? J unit is a unit testing framework. So what is J unit? J unit is a unit testing framework for which programming language? Unit testing framework for Java programming language. Okay. JUnit is a unit testing framework for which programming language? Java programming language. To understand JUnit in a better way, you have to first understand what exactly is meant by unit testing. So what is unit testing? Let's say, so this is the entire application code. Okay. This entire code written for developing the application. This box contains the, assume that this particular box, which I have drawn here contains entire code written by developers for developing the particular application software. Okay. So if this is the entire code and if I break this code into smallest chunks, okay, smallest chunks into smallest chunks, which cannot be broken further. Okay. If I break this entire code, which is uh, written by developers for developing this particular software into smallest pieces or chunks of code, which cannot be broken further. Okay. You cannot break this further, such kind of smallest chunks. If you are breaking that into, and here each and every smallest chunks, okay, here each and every smallest chunks in this particular list of chunks is nothing but a unit. Okay. Here, this particular thing is a unit. This particular thing is a unit. And if you are testing this, you see each and every chunk here has some code, which cannot be broken further. Okay. So such small chunk of code, if you are testing separately, if you are testing this unit piece of code, which cannot be broken for separately. Okay. Again, this one also separately, if you are testing this particular chunk, that is unit also you are testing separately, this particular unit individually or separately you are testing. And uh, like the way, each and every small chunk piece of uh, code, which cannot be broken further. There is each and every unit. If you are testing separately, this called as unit testing. Okay. This called as unit testing. Fine. So who will be performing the unit testing in real time? Developers will be performing the unit testing. Okay. Generally in real time, developers will be performing this unit testing where they will break this uh, entire code written for developing the software into smallest chunks, which cannot be broken further. And uh, that kind of testing is called as unit testing and testing such kind of uh, small chunks units individually is called as unit test. But what is the purpose? Why we have, why developers have to perform this uh, unit testing? You see, this kind of testing can be performed during the early stages, okay, of building the software. That's why any defects can be detected early, okay? So this results in early detection of the defects, okay? Since developers will be performing this and uh, way before the entire software is developed and given for software testers for testing, they can start this and where developers will be breaking, breaking this uh, entire code into smallest chunks, which cannot be broken further called as units and testing this unit separately. There's a possibility that some defects can be identified in an early manner, early fashion, okay? So that is the main purpose why developers will be performing this unit testing helps in early detection of defects to perform this unit testing. Okay. Yeah. To perform this unit testing, when you are, when the developers are writing the code in the Java programming language, which framework the developers will use JUnit unit testing framework with the help of the JUnit unit testing framework, developers can perform the unit test. Okay. With the help of the JUnit unit testing framework, developers can perform the unit testing. And if the programming language used is uh, written in Java programming language, then unit JUnit is a unit testing framework, which can be used. Okay. Hope you got the idea what exactly is JUnit is. It's one of the unit testing framework, which can be used for Java programming language. Okay. Fine. So what about software testers? The software tester doesn't use this JUnit unit testing framework. No ways. Okay. Software testers will also use, okay. Not only developers, software testers will also use this JUnit unit testing framework, but where during the automation, during test automation, when you are writing your automation scripts, when you are creating the automation scripts, and if JUnit is there, okay, where they will divide, they will automate each and every test case and consider that as a unit. Every test case automated will be put as a unit. Okay, I'll show you practically. So here, let's say there is an Eclipse ID, uh, and here I'm going to create a new project. I'll just search for Maven here, and select this Maven project, click on next, and uh, click on next. And here I'll write on Maven hyphen archetype archetype hyphen quick start like this. I'll select this uh, Apache one, click on next. 
here let's give a project name uh, j demo okay j demo or something jd some jpeg you can finish let the maven project get created here so so soft, uh, while developers will use this as a for performing the unit testing software testers are not going to use it for unit testing purpose software testers will use this uh, jnit unit testing framework for a different purpose that is during the test automation while automating the different test cases okay as part of test automation there each and every test case automated will be considered as a unit okay every test case will be considered as a unit i'll show you practically now okay you'll understand so here type y and uh, press enter so that uh, this project will be created so build success and project got created jdemo now simply expand this under uh, src test you see in this project when you create a maven project in eclipse id right if you go to the form.xml file you'll see that in this project jnit is already there okay in the dependencies with that uh, archetype when i create maven hyphen archetype hyphen quick start template if i create that uh, maven project right then this dependency will automatically come jnit dependency will automatically come i don't have to add it manually so fine anyhow the jnit library is already there in this project so i'll directly right click on this package and select new and uh, just name this class as demo class click on finish and inside this demo class instead of main methods i'll be creating some unit unit tests okay so unit kind of uh, methods i'll create public void uh, i'll say login with first test case which i am automating let's assume that okay login with valid credentials is one test case credentials is one test which i'm going to automate okay here i have to provide an annotation from jnit known as editor test annotation over the most on editor test and import this editor from editor test from jnit library okay now inside this method you can write some selenium automation code okay here i'm not writing because it is going to take a lot of time so uh login with valid credentials automation automation test code got executed okay like that i'm writing a sample statement so only one test case do i have to automate no you can create any number of test cases for example another test case i'm trying to automate login with invalid credentials another test case like that you can create any number of uh credentials okay here also credentials okay so here again one print statement login with invalid credentials right invalid another test case i'm automating assume that here i'm writing some selenium code or so whatever the code to implement this method okay here this is a normal method i have to convert that into jnit uh, uh, unit method so at the rate test annotation i have to provide now it got converted into the unit test method okay here every unit test is nothing but a automated test case okay so uh, one test case is automated here another test case is automated here you can automate any number of test cases here in the form of this test methods jnit test methods so this is how the software testers will use this JNIT unit testing framework for uh, test automation purpose, where they will be considering every automated, each and every automated test case as a separate unit. Okay. While developers will use it for unit testing, for unit testing purpose, while software testers will use it for uh, this purpose. Okay. So, hope guys, you got an idea what exactly is JNIT and uh, what is the purpose of this JNIT and uh, okay, how developers will use this JNIT as a unit testing framework for unit testing purpose and how software testers will use this JNIT unit testing framework for automating the test cases as part of uh, test automation and all. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.